Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your August 2019 mid-month reading. You can now find me on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter at Secret Tarot 1111, and I will leave those links down below in the description box. All right, this is for Gemini. What is going on with Gemini for August 2019 for their mid-month reading? If this resonates with you, Gemini, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Gemini, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Gemini out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable so however it resonates with you this is for gemini august 2019 for their mid-month reading what is going on with gemini what is going on with gemini okay well that's a good start Oof. Nope. <laughs> oh okay so um, trying to deal with a bit of a rocky situation. Um, there are some temptations here, I feel. All right, so somebody's trying to start a brand new beginning with you, all right? Uh, we have the magician here. Somebody's wanting to um, heal the past. They, they're wanting to reconcile with you. I'm just going to put that out there. All right, but there was a tower moment between you and this individual, and it was because of some toxic things that happened, but they're here wanting a fresh new start with you, Gemini, okay? So let's see what's going on here. We have the magician here, so be careful because, you know, for some of you, this could be a bit of a manipulative energy, so just be careful with this. Um... The magician, right? They feel like they have all the tools to make a new beginning happen with you. They have the sword for truth, the wand for passion, the cup for love, the pinnacle for success. They've been manifesting this. They've been trying to call you back in. They want your attention, Gemini. They want a victory here with you. They want you to see them with this six of wands. That's fire, energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. You've been playing it pretty cool, okay? A lot going on behind the scenes or behind that pomegranate curtain, right? You got a lot of emotions going on about this, but you're playing it pretty cool, and they don't know how you're going to react. A lot of secrets here. Let's see. There you are, Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords all day. Um, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So if this person can't, you know, make it happen, can't make it work can't show you um, what they need to show you, can't be clear with you here, Gemini, can't um, walk their talk, so to speak, you can easily cut them off, okay? So they're going to have to come to you correctly, right, with this Queen of Swords energy because you've been through it with this person. You're well seasoned at this point and very experienced. That is the energy of the Queen of Swords. You're not putting up with any kind of nonsense here. And if they don't come to you in the correct way, um, then you will cut them off. Okay? And I feel like you've already cut them off in the past at some point anyway. But right now, you're playing it pretty cool. You're not saying too much. But they're still wanting your attention, Gemini. Okay? And they're manifesting that new beginning here. So I'm going to read the energies of the cards. A lot of um, major arcana. One, two, three, four. And then we saw the high priestess. That's five. So this is, a, you know, a little bit of a big deal here. A lot of changes. A lot of changes. I'm going to read the energies of the cards. If the sign of the person that you're dealing with have dealt with or will be dealing with in the future, if their sign pops up, all the better. Keep in mind, time is fluid. And these energies can be interchangeable or vice versa. So they're working their magic here and trying to manifest a new beginning in love with you. But things went pretty haywire. There was an ending here between the two of you, okay? And it was quite dramatic and it was very toxic. 
all right now that's going to resonate with some of you it's not going to resonate with all of you but this person's trying to manifest a new beginning in love they want a, vi a victory here they're coming with you um, with their heart in their hand so emotions are overflowing um, you are using your head okay you're coming through as you queen of swords right you're coming through as that queen of swords energy air energy so you're going to be using your head this time okay you've 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 went completely queen of swords on this one ace of cups this is water energy cancer scorpio and pisces the challenge is there was an ending here and it was rocky and it was dramatic and everything fell apart between you and this individual okay so we had a tower moment with this individual that's the challenge so there was a lot of hurt here things fell apart it was a lot of pain it was big changes and now now they want to manifest a new beginning right after your it's like the whole thing just fell apart your world fell apart here right your tower came falling down so that is the challenge and um can that be fixed can that be healed can we build can we build um again okay the advice is don't allow anything toxic into your space okay don't allow anything toxic into your space. I feel like this is what brought the tower down right here. Capricorn energy, the devil, could have been third party, could have been some sort of addiction, porn, sex, drugs, whatever. Um, it just could have been a very controlling individual. Whatever the case may be, um, it was toxic. So when this person comes towards you with their heart in their hand gemini you're going to have to get the clarity that you need with this queen of swords energy right here to make sure they're not bringing toxicity to your table again okay so that's the advice that is the advice so you're playing it cool I feel like you're playing it cool. You're using your head. You're not saying too much. You're not showing a whole lot of emotion. You're going to see what this person does. Why? Because you want something stable. You want something uh, long term. You want something non toxic. Okay. <laughs> you you want the um, the uh, that earth energy that that grounded energy. Um, something that's not going to go anywhere if a tower moment tries to come in it's just it's not going to happen this is this kind of energy you know that stability factor where nothing's going to shake this relationship this is your goal this is what you're focused on you're looking for the long term you're looking for something real you're looking for loyalty you're looking for family you're looking for abundance Ten of Pentacles here. This is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So, yes. The outcome here, Sagittarius Energy. This person wants to come back in and try to heal the situation and bring balance. Right? They feel like they can fix things with this, these two cards here. They feel like they can heal the situation. They feel like they can fix it with all the tools they've got going on. Um, they feel like they can have a victory here with you. But ultimately, that's going to be your choice here. Now, you know, you can see what they have to say. See if they can walk their talk, so to speak here, Gemini. See if what their, you know, their actions, are they still toxic? That kind of thing. Either way, you, with this temperance card, Sagittarius energy, are going to find your balance are going to heal from the situation with or without this person. So let's clarify. This is for Gemini for August 2019 for their mid-month reading. Please clarify the temperance card for Gemini 
Yeah, I feel like you're going to be very focused on the past. This person has a lot of regrets, but you are still very much focused on what went down. So they got their work cut out for them, and I think they realize that. And again, it's going to be up to you on what you want to do here. You're not making any moves. Like I said, you're playing it very, very cool. And you, a lot going on behind the scenes, behind, you know, deep inside in your heart. But you're not making any moves here. Because you want to see if they can do the things that they are saying. They're going to try to work on a partnership with you. So they're going to try to put an effort here with this Three of Pentacles, right? I feel like they've been admiring you from a distance. They've kind of put you up on a pedestal here. Then we got this King of Cups energy. So it's like the King of Cups, in contrast to the Queen of Cups, whose emotions can be all over the place sometimes, the King of Cups it shows emotional maturity. Okay, can be a little bit of a smooth talker here. This is water, energy, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But they do follow their heart and they do follow their intuition. But the point being is this person may have grown up, Gemini. They may have um, figured some things out and uh, have, have emotionally matured. Okay, but they're going to have to prove that to you. So, let's see... What the Romance Angels have to say for Gemini for August 2019. For their mid-month reading. All right, this is for Gemini. What is going on here with Gemini? What is going on here with Gemini, with Gemini? Yeah. See, this is what they were bringing to the table. Be careful they're not bringing it again, Gemini. Make absolutely sure that, again, they can walk the talk. They can be able to prove to you that they're not bringing toxicity to the table again. Either way, this goes, you're playing it very smart, you're playing it very smooth. And you are going to find your balance and you're going to heal with or without this person. So they've got their work cut out for him here, Gemini, because you're coming through High Priestess, you're coming through Queen of Swords. You've got this figured out, okay? You see this person for what they are, but they still want a second chance. They still want your attention. Make absolutely sure, because this codependency card to me is the same as this. Very toxic energy. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Do you see that? So whatever this toxicity is, just make sure they're not bringing it to your table again. And then we have deception here. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So be very careful here, Gemini, that there's, they're, there's, they are still not wearing a false mask. Okay, so they, they've got their work cut out for them. That's all I know. Either way this goes, Gemini, you are going to be moving forward and you will find your balance again and you will heal with or without this person. So I feel like you're doing all the right things here. You're going for the gold and if they can't bring you solid commitments, I don't think you want anything to do with it. So... Just be careful here, Gemini, okay? August 2019, this is... Oh, that's my puppy. Hold on. I don't want him to bark again. Okay, that was Maggie wanting to say hello to you all. All right, Gemini, that is your August 2019 mid-month reading. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope it resonates with some of you. Like I was saying at the beginning of the video, you can now find me on... Um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram at Secret Tarot 1111, and I will leave those links down below in the description box. You can also find them, that information, in my About section on my channel. You can also find the weekly schedule that I have, and uh, you can find that in the description box of each video 
or in my About section. And uh, you can find out when your weekly reading is going to be released each week. And also the live schedule. I usually go live every day, but Saturday around noon Eastern Standard Time, just in case, you know. Just letting you guys know exactly what's going on in case notifications don't get sent out, right? <laughs> and then next week I'll be working on the future love readings for August 2019. All right, Gemini. Um, a little bit of a dramatic reading here, so just be smart and be careful, right? All right, take very good care of yourself, and God bless.